Immigration Action is a story we cover every week here on the show, and it could now happen as soon as next week, halting deportations for up to five or six million immigrants reportedly on the table. This imminent news of unilateral action from the president has taken the fight to the next level on Capitol Hill. We're going to fight the president uh, tooth and nail if he continues down this path. This is the wrong way to govern. Surely the president uh, understands the kind of uh, explosion that would occur up here if he takes that unilateral action. The president in Myanmar this morning hit back. I would advise that if, in fact, they want to take a different approach, uh, rather than uh, devote a lot of time trying to constrain my lawful actions uh, as uh, the chief executive of the U.S. government in charge of enforcing our immigration laws, uh, that they spend some time passing a bill. Joining me now is a Democrat who has been front and center on the issue of immigration reform, among others, Illinois Congressman Luis Gutierrez. What a pleasure to see you, sir. Good to be with you once again, Jose. Thank you. You have continuously asked the president to go big, expand protections. Does this suggested plan that the president is considering go big enough? I think we're going to know a lot more. Um, every day we know a little bit more, Jose. Uh, next week, I fully expect that uh, I and members of uh, the Democratic caucus will be meeting with the president uh, so that we can get a better picture and understanding of the depth and the specificity that is which groups. But I think uh, that every report that we've uh, see in the media are good reports. Uh, it's about millions and millions of people. Look, Jose, there's going to be people left out. You cannot do through executive action what you can do through the legislative process. But I think what is key to this debate is that the president has the legal <coughs> authority to do it, and he will use that legal authority. And Jose, is this a surprise to anybody? It's not a surprise to you or me. The president said at the State of the Union address, if you do not act, I will use my pen and pencil. He said on June 30th of this year, I'm going to act by the end of the year. And what I find kind of ironic in all of this is that Speaker Boehner says, no, nope, uh, he better not do anything. But he's not doing anything. All the speaker has to do is call a vote. And I will tell you something. There are 40, 50, 60 wonderful members of the Republican caucus, which will join Democrats, to do the work for the American people. But they okay. don't want to uh, do that. But, but Congressman, take me through this, because you were part of a, a bipartisan group of initially eight, then six, then two or one or however many that didn't get it done in the House. I mean, you guys had had legislation written. You guys had uh, dotted the I's and crossed the T's. You would work 24 hours a day, yeah. many days uh, to, to get this done. And then it wasn't done. So so what is it that the House uh, is saying that they want to do now? that the president shouldn't take executive action on. The, the problem is they won't give us a vote on all of the wonderful work. Look, Jose, you know something? I, I don't want to mention the name of my Republican colleagues that I work. You know who they are because you're a good reporter. You've done your background work. There are dozens of them. We worked very closely, but in the end, they wouldn't give us a vote. Remember that the president of the United States on June 30th says, I'm going to take action on immigration reform after he received a phone call from Speaker Boehner saying it's off the table. So come on, if it's off the table, if you keep saying this is what you want right. to do. So and I just want to make clear that one of the things we cleared up in our discussions, Jose, with Republicans, when I when I talked to Republicans yeah. and they said, hey, Luis, they all can't become citizens. And I said, OK. He said, we have to do it in pieces and bits. I said, let's start the process. They said it can't be the Senate bill. I said, OK. Jose, we said, OK, OK. So my good Republican friends that work, one of them told me yesterday, what a shame, Luis. We were so close. We were so yeah. close, so all that was necessary was to give us an hour to vote on it. Right. Now, let me ask you this, Congressman, because and you and I have talked about this, and I'm, you know, the, the nine times I've interviewed the president, probably eight of them, I've asked him this question. Why don't you consider, among other things, deferred action for parents of U.S.-born kids? And over and over again, he told me what he's told you. Listen, I'm not king. I'm president. I don't have the legal authority to do that. Right. Now he does have the legal authority to do that? 
here's what we've learned in this process, that much of this process is what is the legal authority of the president of the United States today? It is very broad. I think Barack Obama has learned how broad it is. But let me just say this. Jay Johnson, Secretary of Homeland Security, mm -hmm. he is the one that was charged with drafting all of the rules and regulations at the Department of Defense to overturn don't ask, don't tell. He knows what the legal authority of the president is. That he used it, he's used it in the past. Let's look at this last year. The president raised the minimum wage for federal workers. Uh, he intervened to make sure that women and men in the federal workforce are earning the same salary. Presidents have used this authority time and time again. I'm going to give you right. one last example because you're going to remember this one. In 1986, we passed the Immigration Reform and Control Act. Three million people got amnesty because one thing about Ronald Reagan, you got to give him. He made the process simple. He said, come, you know, join, sign up and become American citizens. And he granted amnesty to three million undocumented. Well, there were about 1.5 million people that Ronald Reagan and then George Bush protected a million and a half people from deportation because they were left out of the legislation in 86 until we fixed it in 91. Look, Republican presidents have used this authority. Meese under uh, uh, Attorney General Meese under then President Bush protected tens of thousands of yeah. Nicaraguans that fled Nicaragua. Most of them were living in Florida and protected them until we could pass NACADA, which gave them permanency in the United States. So, so there's a long tradition of the president. My answer to you, quite honestly, between me and you and Jose and nobody else, I don't think the right. president wanted to take the action. I think he always understood he had the power. Uh, uh, finally, Congressman, uh, there's some uh, talk about the possibility of you thinking in the future about El Presidente Gutierrez. Are you thinking about any uh, presidential uh, run in the future? I got to tell you something. Uh, here, check my website and my congressional website. It's telling people how to get ready uh, for the president's announcement and to get ready to be right with the law and register with the government. That's going to be my focus. If the president I know, doesn't but I'm go asking big, you about if he specific. doesn't specific, yeah, right. If it, the president doesn't go big, if the president and doesn't go wide if he isn't generous. Certainly, there are many throughout the country who say there should be a challenge for the heart and soul of the Democratic Party if it once again turns its back on our immigrant community. And if that would happen, I'll give you a call, Jose, because it will be right. uh, something that we will be required to do. All right, because I want the exclusive in English and Espanol. All right, buddy? Espanol. Muy bien, Jose. All right. Thank you very thank much. You so Congressman, much for, for now, me. Luis Gutierrez, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. And let me bring in Lori Montenegro, Telemundo's national...